Hey everyone, welcome to Alchemy Stars. So we have here Smooth Mechanic Roy, so Red Diesel Wrench. We have here his skill preview for a five star. So he is a thunder. I was actually thinking he was a fire element, but definitely thunder. Support class, um, kind of decent attack for support. So let's check out his um, skills or active skill, Lightning Resupply. So uses two supply points to choose one traversable tile from three surrounding clusters. Convert that tile into a yellow tile. So it's kind of a bit more of a hybrid, a, a converter of some sorts and summon one mechanical b so one for the tile one for the mechanical b or use one supply point to convert any one tile in the battlefield with a mechanical b on it into a yellow tile okay supply points gain one point at the beginning of the battles so automatically as soon as we start he gains one and one point per round so definitely he can he cannot spam this because, um, well, he can as long as there is a B already. He can use one supply point for that one. But more or less, this is uh, generating every beginning of the battle and one per round. If a mechanical B disappears from a yellow tile, gains another point up to seven points. So you can stack this and actually just hold on to it. Uh, until you really need to place them so you don't need to to what they call this this is similar to Ami Mori's, um mechanic wherein she can store um, also her katanas this one is a point this is a supply point as well so up to seven points for him okay so up to four mechanical bees can exist in the battlefield at the same time mechanical bees disappear when they are touched by an enemy Okay, so that's the. He's a converter. He summons a B for his active skill and up to seven points. Next is his chain combo. You have Gyro Blast at four chain, deals 160 to three enemies with two surrounding clusters. At eight chain, deals 160 again to three enemies within three surrounding clusters. And at 12 chain, deals 160 damage to all enemies within three surrounding clusters. Okay, this is kind of useful but also kind of limited but again he's a support this is just additional or probably your supplementary damage for the aurorian and the last one is equipment skill honey healers if a mechanical bee is within the area of effect of roy's chain combo recover 40 percent of roy's maximum health sad to say it's not for the team but it's only for himself each mechanical B will ra within range increases the recovery factor by 10%. Okay. Um, again, I just want to point out that uh, the skill, this should have been at least not only himself, but sp partly some of the team members that he has. Because again, um, this is kind of frustrating uh, that you heal only Roy's max HP. So... He's kind of a part converter, part damage dealer, part healer for himself. So, well, he's five stars. So what, what do you expect? But definitely, um, if I want to rate him, he's going to be at around between six to seven out of ten. Um, his cut is his, his, his kit is actually average and no really synergy at this point with anybody but himself but he does have he does convert more he, he can actually burst convert like for example uh if he if he stacks enough points he can pick and choose conversions the mechanical b um that is actually what he, he is going to do for you so he's kind of your supplementary converter with also the ability to do damage or decent damage for that matter okay so let's uh, go to our new six star so we have azure so we're finished with roy azure most of you guys have been uh waiting for her uh, especially me i need 
a detonator for water definitely gonna be summoning for her not only is she is she good looking but i think her kit is good so water attribute detonator class and um kind of kind of if, if i want to rate her her combat power this is kind of around a not a plus but it's okay uh, we can make do with that. So for her attack skill, I'm sorry, active skill, Cerulean Mirage. So cooldown is uh, one, uh, preemptive strike. So she can spam this every turn, definitely. Choose any traversable tile to project a Cerulean Im image, which can be used to perform Mirage Strikes and Mirage Transformation. So Mirage Strikes... Mirage um, immediately, immediately triggers a Mirage Strike that deals 2.5 damage if there is already a Mirage on the selected tile. So again, similar to Amimora's skill, she has to project a Mirage before she can do a Mirage Strike. So first turn, Mirage. Second turn, Mirage Strike. Mirage Strike deals 200% damage to enemies within 12 tiles in a diamond shape so nice damage for 200 range is increased to two surrounding clusters if the mirage is on a blue tile so definitely you have to place this one on a blue tile and to add to this one a mirage transformation converts the tile it's on to blue so definitely the mirage will also convert the tile to blue actually this is a nice skill to have so you have here tile conversion you also have here damage as well, similar to Roy. But this one, I like this more because this you, you can really spam this every turn. Not not the damage, but you can place that place, explode, place, explode, and also tile convert as well. So for her chain combo, Nitro Storm, two chain deals 130 to 12 tiles in a diamond shape and Cyril Mirage cost tier one. Uh, ch ch chain combo once, nine chain deals uh, 165 damage to 16 tiles in a radial shape and serial mirage cost casts. Tier one combo, ch combo chain combo once. What's the matter with me? Okay, for 12 chain deals 175 damage to two surrounding clusters and cerulean mirage casts tier one chain combo one Cerule cerulean mirage is like a tongue twister <laughs> anyway um i think i think you need to you know you need to have at least nine chain to maximize her damage up to 12 chain because um this is the usual average for damage for chain combo around 165 to 175 to 180 so for two chain it's good to activate this but definitely go with nine and twelve and last is her equipment skill balsan accuracy azure's attack is increased by 20 percent if sur two surrounding clusters if within two surrounding clusters of a cerulean mirage so both of them actually have um have identical kits but definitely azure is ahead of Roy because mainly of um, uh, what they call this bigger damage definitely also tile conversion to blue and she can spam this every turn she has to actually um, for her to be more effective so and she's also a detonator um, chain chain combo um i think is going to be good especially with the Cer cerulean mirage casts uh a tier one combo chain combo once okay <laughs> again sorry so it casts a serial mirage serial mirage so additional mirages definitely i think once she triggers her chain combo so there's a chance that she can detonate as because she can create additional mirages with her chain combo. This is kind of good. Another another way to clear mobs for this one. And uh, again, increase attack by 20% if you're near Cerulean and Mirage. So definitely you have to tr trigger her chain combo. You have to have her chain combo as frequently as possible. It would help if she is a captain 
because uh, even if it's not her own um, tile color, she can still do a chain combo. Well, I think this actually fits her kit really. So definitely, um, I would you know I would uh, like to uh, rate her. Definitely, I'm gonna rate her kit with uh, a nine out of ten. As of the moment, I think she has promise in terms of um, usability um, content, and also aside from Regal, um, if you need another, I think we need. I think Blue needs another detonator, which which right now I think is more versatile than any other detonator that we have, except for some. For example, for Kovacs, um, um, he has um, he has teleport, but for her, I like her kit because it you know it uh, it has lo a lot more mechanics anyway so that is it so um my recommendation summon for azure for roy um i'm not sure at this point uh for roy um if you want his kit um definitely you could you could summon um as, as you remember my rating for him is around a six to seven out of ten azure definitely a nine probably an 8.5 so that is it, guys. Um, summon for Azure. Um, for Roy, it's really, really up to you. So anyway, guys, thank you very much for staying this far. So hopefully this uh, review and first impressions of the new units dropping soon has helped you decide who you'll pull for. But I'm sure you already decided to pull for Azure. So thank you guys for being here. Stay safe. Take care. This is the Warden. And I'm out of here.